Hello everybody, Andrea here with Mr. Rex. I wanna show you guys how to properly brush your child's teeth. You should always be helping them as well. So I tell parents, let your child do it. Depending on the age, they might just chew their toothbrush, that's normal. If they're at that age though, you will definitely have to do it for them. Or if they're at the age where they are starting to brush themselves, that's fantastic, but they're not going to be doing the best job because they just can't get in there properly. So then you have to either do it first for them and then let them do it themselves or let them do it themselves first and then you do it afterwards. Try to make brushing fun. If they see you doing it, having a good time, they're going to want to do it too. If they hear you say, oh, I don't want to brush, they're not going to do it either. So what I want you guys to do, so this is a really big toothbrush. They're going to have a smaller one. Kids typically have a toothbrush this size. You don't want anything too big, but nothing too small either, because then you can't really get in there properly. Electric toothbrushes sound like a great idea, but a lot of kids don't like that extra um, vibrations, if you will, of an electric toothbrush. So manual might be the way to go. If they don't like their manual toothbrush, then buy them an electric and maybe they will like that one better. Sorry if you guys hear that noise, my puppies are playing below me, <laughs> sorry. Okay, so the toothbrushing. You want to go in a circular technique for all of the outside teeth and then on the inside, it's a little bit different. So for the outside, so can everybody see it? You literally just want to go in circles, okay? In circles everywhere, like one, two, three, one, two, three, or count to five, whatever works. You don't want to be doing this because that's not good enough. You, you do have to go kind of this way. Sometimes it's even easier to tell your child to close so then you can actually do the top and bottom at the same time. So every child is different. They might not want to close, so then that's okay. You just have to make sure to do the top and bottom. But if they don't mind closing, say close like this, then you can do the top and bottom at the same time. But notice my teeth. Notice how my top teeth overlap the bottom teeth. If your child's do that, they don't typically, but if they do, then you will have to have them open. Because if I try to brush my teeth that way, I would just be able to do the top teeth, right? So then you might have to have the child open, but make sure to get the insides too but it's really hard to brush in circles on the inside. So what I want you guys to do is to just do the best you can and just sort of brush everywhere, okay? On the inside, does that make sense? It's really hard to brush in circles on the inside. So you kind of have to go just brush everywhere and you're not, it's not gonna be perfect. That's why it's so important to brush twice a day, even three times a day if you're home. So you're always able to get the plaque, the stain off. Cause if you're not brushing, the plaque and stain will not come off. So once again, do the circles for the outside. You could either have your child be open like this or closed and then do them both at the same time. But the insides, you just have to go to town and go everywhere. You can brush in circles on the inside, but I find that's really, really difficult to do. So this is just easier if that makes sense. Um, and for the flossing, if your child's teeth are close together, that means it's time to floss. I love the floss picks, which I thought I brought with me, but I did it, I'm sorry. But I love the floss picks. Do a quick search online, um, just type in floss picks. You will see what they look like. They are amazing. You will have to do it for your child at first because they won't know how, but then they could easily do it themselves even while they're watching a movie or TV or something. What a lot of parents ask me is, does my kid need toothpaste? Yes. If your child is just brushing with water, it's better than nothing but they're not getting those protective coating ingredients of the toothpaste on their teeth if they're not using toothpaste. So toothpaste is the way to go. I have another video where I talk about the different types of toothpaste depending on the ages, because that does make a big difference. But the rule of thumb is if your child can't swallow yet, 
make sure the toothpaste has xylitol in it. Natural toothpastes aren't always the way to go because they don't have enough protective coating in them to protect the teeth. You're cleaning away stain with a natural toothpaste, but you're not doing anything else. Your teeth and their teeth need some extra protective elements to help to protect against acids, sugars, anything. If they're not using toothpaste, it's not necessarily good because sugars, acids, anything are going to start to eat away at the teeth a lot quicker. Think of a good shampoo and conditioner. If you're not using shampoo and conditioner, you're not protecting your hair. Are you even washing your hair properly? Not really. You really need that toothpaste to wash the teeth properly, if that makes sense. Um, if your child is able to spit, I suggest a toothpaste with um, sodium fluoride. Stannous fluoride stains the teeth. Stay away from stannous fluoride. I like sodium fluoride. There are certain toothpastes out there that have xylitol and sodium um, fluoride in them, but they typically have to be prescribed by a dental professional, but that's the best toothpaste because xylitol helps to protect against the bacteria. So the bacteria can't basically grow to cause a cavity with xylitol. With the sodium fluoride, that will actually help to protect against cavities. And if there's a little cavity starting, that will actually help to limit that cavity from getting bigger. So you need both xylitol and sodium fluoride. Any questions though, just ask your dental hygienist and they can help you because it really does depend on the patient. So if you guys have questions, let me know. I hope that helped. We had fun showing you guys how to brush and I will see you guys in the next video.